This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2020 Salem Cruise Light travel trailer, model number 24 RLXL. Okay, this is a how to video. I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work. So, your stabilizers have a strong arm attachment on them, which takes the forward and rearward movement out of it. Just remember to loosen this T handle right here. When you're raising and lowering the the, uh, the the scissor jack itself, but when you get it into place, uh, level as you want it, stabilize as you want it, um, tighten the T handle up so it takes the movement out of it. Just remember to, to open it back up before you, you crank it up. Okay. All right. So power awning with LED strip, outside speakers. This is the range hood vent right here. If you're going to be using the fan in the range hood, make sure that this baffle is flapping freely right here. Okay. Uh, this is your city city water fill. There's a fresh water tank. I'm sorry, not city, but a fresh water tank fill. So you have a fresh water tank on, on this trailer. Um, therefore, when you're, you know, first of all, the most common way to get water to the trailer is through, this, through the city water hookup. You just hook it up and you're all set. But if you're camping someplace that doesn't have city water, let's say you're boondocking or whatever, you can pre-fill this the tank right here and then use the onboard pump to pump the water. I'll show you the switch for the pump when we get inside, but um, the bottom line is if you don't have city water, you can, eat, you can actually camp like you do have it just by filling this tank and using the pump, okay? All right. This is the water heater here. It's drained. It's empty right now. Um, you see the, the drain plug slash anode rod is, is removed right now. The uh, water tank is empty because it's winterized. But always remember to fill it before you uh, turn it on. Never run it empty. Uh, there are switches inside to control this. One switch for the electric heating element. Another switch for the... Um, well, I guess not the electric heating. But one switch for the... Um, just for the gas burner. Okay, so it just has a gas burner on it. So um, I'll show you that switch when we get inside. Never run it empty. All right. This is just a you know, furnace vent, of course. Pass through storage. These are your cranks here. The small crank hanging at the bottom is for your power tongue jack if it ever fails and then you have this this drill attachment right here that you can put on your drill and crank it uh, crank the stabilizers using your your uh, power drill your battery power drill uh, this is just a, a solar charger can hook up connection It's made by Furion if you were ever to buy their kit that's where you would plug it in that's it's just an option okay so you have a uh, Deep cycle marine battery, two LP tanks which are full. You have uh, your power tongue jack, which has a light. And like I said, you can unscrew this cap if it happens to fail and use that small crank in there to crank this manually to get yourself out of an emergency. This is the kill switch for your battery. It's on right now, but if you wanted to shut the battery off, you just twist it to the red section. All right. here if anything we're all set here okay so these are your dump valves here this is black tank uh, valve here that's toilet water and waste you have a gray tank here sink and shower water um, this is your city water hookup right here this is where you nine times out of ten you'll be getting your water from this is a black tank flush right here so after you dump your black tank you leave the valve open you have to leave the valve open Put the hose at the dump station, screw it right on here, turn it on, it'll spray out the inside of your black tank, clean it out, clean off the sensors, that sort of thing. So um, if you have a working hose at the, uh, at the uh, dump station, it's a, good, it's a good thing to do. You're, you have a 25 foot uh, 30 amp cord that pulls out of the side of the trailer. Okay, you have a, um, a slide topper on your slide room. Okay, so you have campground cable and satellite through here. 
It's pre-wired for a backup camera, a Furion backup camera kit if you're interested in getting that. Um, also, uh, the manufacturer states, your past warranty, but the manufacturer states you should inspect your roof every 90 days or so. So just look it over, make sure there's no damage to it or any, any leaks or anything like that so you can protect your investment, okay? So we go inside here. Okay. First thing we see is the control panel. Um, so there's your your uh, power awning right there. I'll never leave it out unattended. Always roll it in if you're not going to be camping. Or I'm sorry. Always roll it in if you're not going to be at the campsite. If you don't, it can get damaged by the weather really, really quick. Uh, the other switch is for your slide room, okay? So, uh, your water pump is right here. We talked about pumping water out of the fresh water tank if you don't have city water. That water pump is also used to winterize the trailer. You can light your water heater on gas right here. There's the fault light there. Of course, lights here, and then you have your levels for your batteries charged, fresh, black and gray water. All right, keys are here. Okay. Let me get some more light in here. I don't think I got them all out here. Let's see. Okay, that's better. Okay, so your microwave works like any other microwave. This is the range hood, the a fan that I told you about. If you're going to be running the fan, make sure you open the baffle on the outside. There's a light here also. Uh, this is your range hood. Basically, you have a sparker here. Turn it clockwise to spark. You got three burners here and three knobs. And then that's for your oven. Very simple. I don't know if he's got any gases worked up to it yet because we just hooked up the... Uh, there we go. Hooked up the, the gas tank, so it takes a minute to get the air bubble out of it. But now it'll light first, first, uh, first spark every time. So, okay. And then this is for the oven. Okay. Your refrigerator is a, a 12 volt DC uh, refrigerator. Always keep this latch latch so your the door doesn't swing open and get dented. Thermostat is right here. Very simply, you just hit the mode button to light it up, and then you just go through the different modes. It's on heat right now, of course. Um, TV hook up here. That light is telling us that the digital uh, antenna is on. This just this this is telling you that you can go to KingConnect.com. This is pre-wired for a for a public Wi-Fi booster, which consists of an antenna on the roof, and it uh, consists of a router inside. So if you want to do have better public Wi-Fi for your family. You can you can look at KingConnect.com and look for their pre-wired kits and see what options they have. It's already pre-wired. There's a, a panel here and there's one on the roof where the antenna would go. Okay, so um, fireplace. You see, you can change colors of the crystals, of course. Off, low and high, those are the fan speeds. You also have a timer on it and uh, um, so there's a lot you could do with it but it's a really good space heater when you're when you got the fan on high. This is the remote for your sound which is right here, AM FM radio. It has Bluetooth so you can stream wirelessly from your phone or your tablet. It has a USB drive here, HDMI in there, two uh, speaker zones um, a is inside the trailer, B is outside the trailer, so it has all that and more. Now, this is the power converter right here. This converts AC to DC power. So, uh, you have regular 110 AC circuit breakers here. So, as long as you're plugged into shore power, you'll have 110 AC here at these breakers, and uh, they're all labeled, right? Then the power is converted to 12 volt DC on this side. So 
You've got 12 volt fuses here, and they're all labeled. This is also a battery tender, so it'll always sense how, how much energy, as long as you're plugged in, it's going to sense how much energy your batteries uh, have and need, and send as many amps necessary to charge your battery. Okay? This is your um, LP detector right here. It should always be green. If not, get it serviced. You can drop your poles on the tabletop. Set the tabletop down on these cleats and turn this into a bed if you need to. This is a jackknife sofa here. So you can grab it right here in the center and flatten it out. Jackknife it flat, turn it into a bed. Okay. Bathroom works like any other bathroom. There we go. So, um, if you're, uh, your shower, you have a, a fan, you have a, a sink, uh, the sink and shower work like any other sink and shower, the toilet sits right over a black tank like RV toilets do, and you can see there's a flush panel right here, so when you get to the campground you hook up your power and your water, then you're going to just dump a dose of chemical right in the bowl, then you'll step on the pedal and hold it down long enough to put at least a gallon of water in the, in the tank along with the the chemical and then you're ready to use it. If you don't do that, it's considered using it dry. You don't want to do that because it'll get clogged up and it also will smell super bad. So you always want a chemical, a dose of chemical and at least a gallon of water in there before you use it. Alright. More TV hookups here. Emergency window. Uh, some storage here. And there's some storage under the bed also. You can, you can pick it up and there's some storage under there, okay? Okay, so I think that does it. Um, let me look around here. Okay, I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Um, please remember I said about inspecting the seals on your trailer, including the roof. That's important. Also, uh, right now this is winterized, so uh, the water heater has been drained. There's no, there's no water heater or antifreeze or anything in the water heater. You don't you don't you don't allow antifreeze to get in your water heater so it's the valves are bypassed and it's empty right now. Um, just remember when you uh, when you dewinterize it you're gonna you're gonna flush all the antifreeze from the system using the uh, the uh, fresh water hose and then you're gonna switch the valves on the back of the water heater back to camping mode. Then you're going to uh, put the drain plug back in it and make sure you fill up the water heater tank before you use it okay that's important okay thank you